In this video, I am going to show you how to do this blueprint style section. I will be using Photoshop and Lumion to create this. This might look complicated to achieve, but it will take only 8 easy steps. I came across this image while I was scrolling through Pinterest. I like how it brings both digital and manual presentation together. So I wanted to try recreating it. If you are new here, I am Chandra and I create content on architectural visualization and presentation. This is the drawing which I will be using in this video. It is a research park project done during my college days. First, I am going to export the section as PDF from AutoCAD. I exported in A3 size. You can select any sheet size of your preference, but I would suggest to not go below A3 so that the lines won't get distorted when applying it as a material in Lumion. I added these trees, cars, clouds and the ground hatch after seeing the reference file. You can add whatever details you want in the section. Once you are done exporting the PDF, save it aside for now and let's move into SketchUp. Let's import the CAD file into a new SketchUp and make sure to select the proper units while importing. As it's imported, I started to trace the section to extrude the certain parts which we need. The idea here is to extrude floors walls and ceilings to give a 3D or perspective look to the 2D section. Using the rectangle tool, I went and traced those things over the drawing. When tracing them, it's not a rule to trace every actual detail of the building and extrude them. You can choose what you want to show using this section and what you want to convey. I wanted to show emphasis on the spaces through which I am cutting the section and the levels of the building and also the metal structure that I have on the top two floors. You don't need to draw the surface for the base of the section. You will be drawing only the faces that you want to extrude. I also wanted to include this sunken slab detail. You can even play with extrusion values. You need not extrude every surface to the same value. I kept my staircase landing a bit short than the other extruded walls and ceilings. I also had a jolly wall on my facade on one side. These details will change for your project. You can decide based on them what you want to display and highlight. I modeled one portion of the roof and copied and started placing it wherever it was supposed to come. When you are working with elements that repeat throughout your design, always work in components. I learnt it the hard way. I don't want you to repeat the mistakes that I did. Then I added a horizontal member along the section plane in the roof and place the glass floor over it. It's my university project guys, don't judge me based on that. I was too ambitious at that time and didn't think about its real life complications or implementation. But I'm sticking to it for this video. After the model is done, I made the whole model to be in two material, one for the glass and another one for the rest of the model, for ease of working in Lumion. Let's draw a plane for the size of the section and give it a thickness and apply it a completely different material. So we will have three materials used in the SketchUp model. Now save the SketchUp file in SketchUp 6 and close it. Open Photoshop file of size according to your need and drag and drop the PDF into it. Then select a blue color which you think will look good for a blueprint sheet. Take your time here. Once the color is selected, the work is 90% complete. Rasterize the line drawing layer and I had to increase the level as I had two CAD blocks which were white in color. You don't have to do this step if your PDF doesn't have this error. Then select the line drawing layer and hit Ctrl I in Windows and Command I on Mac to invert your line drawing. That's basically it. But you can play with adding textures as overlay and adding grids or even grunge overlay. Hereafter, whatever you do is just adding more detail to the presentation. You can go however you want. I am sticking to the basic one that I did. Once you are happy, export it as PNG or JPEG and save the Photoshop file and close it. We have come to the final step in the presentation. Open a new file in Lumion. I am going with the template for design showcase because we can avoid the green hue or the sky in the reflections in this template. Import the SketchUp file and elevate it a bit from the ground level. 
I applied standard white material with a bit of gloss and reflection to the projected parts of the building. For the background, I imported the image which we created in Photoshop right now. We have to scale it and match it to the model. Move the texture to place it correctly. Then I started setting up the camera angles. I went for the easy one first, which is the straight shot with parallel projection. You can play with the sunlight to get dynamic shadows that give a clear idea of the three dimensional space. I did some color correction like temperature and gamma correction. I also set up some other angles to render. You can add tilt shift to give the effect that we get in macro photographs. Once you are done applying all the effects that you want, you can render them. These are the outputs that I got. I really loved making this section, so I also animated it. This is a very quick and easy workflow, yet it creates awesome looking results. I would like to know your opinions on this. And if you ever create something like this, make sure to send them over to my Instagram at Architecture Atlas. If you watched until here and you think you might have learned something, make sure to like this video. If you have any doubts or topics that you would want me to cover, drop a comment below. See you all in the next video.